Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about symmetric encryption algorithm. So we know that we use encryption to hide our information so that no one else or uh, any outsider should not be able to read our message. So for, for explanation, let's say these are two users, let's say user A and user B, they want to exchange some message secretly so that uh, no outsider or any user C that C user should not be able to read their contents. So for that, for instance, in this case, the user A generates a message and now this message, this user wants to send secretly to user B. And for that, this user A will encrypt that message using some encryption algorithm. And after encryption, the message may be the scrambled message. So that will not be able to, I mean, that will be difficult to uh, to be understood by some third party or any user C. And when this user sends this message to user B, or let's say when user B receives that message, which is actually encrypted message, then the destination or the user B will use a decryption algorithm and after processing the encrypted message using decryption algorithm the user b or the destination of the message will be able to recover the original message like you can see here after decryption the user has uh, has got the actual message which was sent so now this in this uh, encryption and decryption scenario, the problem is that that if there is any third user with the right decryption algorithm and somehow if that third user, let's user C, if that user is able to receive that because this will be kind of wireless channel in between them. So it means the third user can also receive that message. And if, for example, it is not wireless, let's say this, this is wire, simply wire. So they can tap into wire and maybe they can also receive the, the, the uh, encrypted message and with the right decryption algorithm they can also receive or they can also recover that same message which actual destination was able to recover so it means there is some problem in this case and now to avoid this problem in symmetric encryption both the sender and receiver they use a common secret key a key which is known to each other and only they know about that secret key. So they use that particular secret key which only belong to user A and user B and no one else knows about that key. So they use that key in addition to the actual encryption algorithm to encrypt the message. And at the destination, the destination B also uses the same key to decrypt the message. Now in this case, even if there is any third user, if that third user is going to receive this message and you're going to use this, let's say, you're going to use this decryption algorithm. So decryption algorithm are actually made public. Everyone knows about decryption algorithm. So if they receive it and they use this, the commonly known decryption algorithm to decrypt the message, then they will not be able to decrypt the message because for decryption, they also need to have this key and no one else has that key. So that is the message. And in this case, now the message is that the symmetric cryptographic algorithm, they use the same key to encrypt as well as decrypt the message. And the secrecy of the key is important in this case because the algorithm can be public, but now the secrecy of the key is the heart of this symmetric encryption algorithm and some of the algorithms which are actually based on the symmetric encryptions are des data encryption standard triple data en uh, encryption standard advanced encryption standard and international data encryption algorithms so this was brief uh, introduction about symmetric encryption algorithm and hope to see you in some other video related with cryptography. Thank you.